Assalamu alaikum. In the last class, we have obtained the expression for magnetic field due to a current carrying wire of infinite length using Ampere circuit law. In this video, we are going to get the expression for magnetic field due to a long current carrying solenoid with the help of the same law. Before going ahead, let me tell you what is solenoid. A solenoid is nothing but a long closely wound helical coil. I have one with me. The coil that I hold in my hand is nothing but a solenoid. If you look at this, the windings are done very close to each other. It has got a helical winding which are done very close to each other and uh, the length is very large compared to the diameter. This kind of uh, long coils are usually referred as solenoid. They are used to produce a uniform magnetic field. I have one more uh, solenoid with me. This is another uh, solenoid. The windings are done very close to each other and uh, the length is very large compared to the diameter. Now let us uh, go ahead. I take one such uh, solenoid I show this is the solenoid which has got n number of turns. Well, it has got n number of turns and the current I flows through this solenoid. I told you a solenoid is nothing but a closely wound helical coil. If uh, a solenoid is uh, a closely wound helical coil, then what is this? What I have shown here is nothing but the part of the solenoid. If we cut uh, the solenoid along its length, then it may appear something like this. Then the windings oh, will become visible like this. Okay. What I have, what I am drawing now is nothing but the winding. Clear? These are all the windings. Here, dots and a cross. These dot dots and a crosses have got a different meaning. What is that? Let me tell you. Here, dots represents the outward flow of current, whereas this crosses represents the inward, the inward flow of current. In our physics, whenever you come across cross, it means the field or something is going inward. And dots represents the outward flow of uh, maybe magnetic field, current or electric field. You remember this. So this way, it is the one end of the winding, it is another end of the winding, like that. The slot has got n number of turns. Okay, so through them, the current flows in this direction, they go inward from the lower end and they come out from the upper end. It goes this way the current moves inward and flows outward from the upper part. This is what I mean. And the next thing. I told you earlier, solenoids are used to produce uniform magnetic field. We know uniform magnetic field is one which has got the magnetic field lines acting parallel to each other. Now see here, these lines which are parallel to each other. represents a uniform magnetic field okay along the axis uniform magnetic field flows whereas outside at this end at the upper end 
as well at the lower end you will not find any magnetic field the magnetic field outside the solenoid current carrying solenoid is zero whereas the magnetic field is maximum and uniform along the along the axis of the solenoid you remember this now let's go ahead i am going to apply uh, ampere circuit in What does ampere circuit law say? Ampere circuit law says that line integral of magnetic field over a closed loop. When I say loop, it means ampere loop. In case of this, I take a rectangular ampere loop, which appears something like this. This is the ampere loop, which is in the form of rectangle I name this one as A B C and D here A B C D represents the ampere loop ampere loop okay here the dash So according to Ampere's uh, circuit law, line integral of BDL is equal to mu naught times the net current enclosed by the loop. Then this portion can be written in this way. Closed integral of B DL B delta dot DL delta is equal to now I'm going to expand this part now according to this ampere loop okay now if you look at this ampere loop it has got four length elements A B B C C D and D E clear I start with the, the length element A B so, the, like this with a closed integral is expanded and we take four line integrals. Line integral of d vector dot d l vector with the a b as the limits a b plus line integral of b vector dot d l vector. Now this time we take a b c. Then I go to the third. Closed integral. I mean, uh, uh, third length element. So, line integral of BDL, where it is CD. The fourth one is this. Integral of B with the DL with that. And here we have DA. Now, this is how we have expanded the closed integral of BDL into line integrals for different segments of ampere and loop clear then after that uh, now we know one thing that uh, the dot product of vectors a vector dot b vector can be written as a b cos theta in a similar way b vector dot dl vector can be written as b dl cos theta this I am going to apply here. You see what I will get if I do so. See closed integral of d vector dot dl vector is equal to integral a b b dl cos theta plus b c b dl cos theta plus the integral of b dl cos theta here c d then plus d a b dl cos theta this is what we have taken okay now after that let's find out the, the angle here theta is nothing but the angle between b and dl here b is the magnetic field and dl is the 
the length element okay the length element is nothing but a b b c c d and d e now what is the angle well, let's start with the, this length element a b in case of the length element a b d l acts along the magnetic field so the angle between b and d l is nothing but zero so for this case that is this one here Close the number of BDL. B of that at DL at is equal to no, integral A B. Where B is written here, then D L. The cos of here the angle is 0. So 0 degree. Plus in this case, here length element BC is acting perpendicular to the magnetic field. So the angle is 90 degree. So here this BC BDL cos of 90 degree. Then I take this one. Integral of here it is C D B D L. So what is the angle? Here it is lying outward. The angle is zero, but that one thing you need to remember here. Or if you look at this character, you will find that the length element CD is lying outside. I told you the magnetic field outside, whether it is upward or downward, the magnetic field outside, the current carrying on it is zero. So in that way, this portion becomes a zero. Okay, here B is a nothing but zero. This I mention here. Okay, here we go. Here B in the place of B, I take a zero. A DL. So cos of a ninety. Whatever you write, uh, is cos of zero. So cos of zero. Then at the end, that's the fourth one. What is that? This D E. No. This is the length element D A. It makes an angle of ninety degree with the magnetic field. So all right, B D L cos of ninety degree. So we know cos of 0 is 1, whereas cos of 90 is 0, here we have cos of 0, so it is 0. So the next step we get, close the graph b dot dl vector is equal to 9 integral of b dl for length element a b. Length element A, B. And the remaining term, these three terms become 0. Plus, right, 0, plus 0, plus 0. Okay, so what do we obtain here is nothing but this. Closed integral of B dot dot DL vector is equal to line, line integral of B DL. For length element A, B. Okay, so I am going to box this. I want to box this, okay? Now I have got the, the value of a right hand side of ampere circuit and down. Okay, I have obtained the value of the left hand term, I am sorry, not right hand side left hand set the value of uh, uh, LHS in the ampere circuit in which is nothing but BDL. Now I am going to integrate this. So on integration what I will get? This. Now well, here B. B is a magnetic field 
and here it is the constant. No? I told you the magnetic field is the uniform magnetic field. That means uh, it remains same throughout the length. If so, B value is a constant. So that constant magnetic field is taken outside the integration. Okay, so then uh, this will turn this way. Here you need to write uh, only one length element is uh, left here. So you need to mention A B, the name of the length element. So I take it uh, directly in this way. Then after the integration, what do I get? You see, I get this. Look at us equal to L. When we integrate dx, we get to x. In the similar way, if you integrate the dl, you will get the l. Here l is a, taken as the length of uh, this ampere and loop. Now is a, the length of the ampere and loop. But here it is not necessary to take uh, the ampere loop, loop of the length of a uh, small l. It can be drawn at the size of the conductor. Okay, so in the place of L, I can write a capital L, which is the total length of the conductor. Clear? So here, L can be written as capital L. So by keeping that in mind, I write it this way. Close the lock. V dot L dot is equal to B L. Okay, I'll bounce this one with obtained from here. You remember this. Now we have obtained the value of left hand side term of ampere circuit. Now I'm going to get its value. Let's uh, do it. Here, mu naught i enclosed is written this way. Here, I is the total or net current enclosed by the ampere loop. The net current enclosed by the ampere loop is nothing but Ni. Here, N is the number of turns of this solenoid. So, if there are n number of turns present in the solenoid, then current Ni is the total current flowing through the solenoid. So, it is represented in this manner. I take uh, this as equation number 1, this is uh, equation number 2 and this one as equation number 3. Now I am going to substitute 2 and 3 into 1, 2 and uh, 3 in uh, 1. So what I will get, I get this, I get B L equals to B dot N I. My aim is to get the value of magnetic field. Here B represents the magnetic field. So keep a B on the left hand side. The remaining terms are taken to the right hand side. So L will divide. B dot N I upon L. Now here, capital N, which is the number of turns per unit length. Again is the number of turns per unit length so this can be replaced I'm sorry just to show you yeah, small n is nothing but number of turns per unit length so n upon l is replaced with small n In this manner. So B is equal to mu naught in the place of this. What is this? Number n. The small n. I. This is the final expression that provides us the magnetic field to do a long current carrying solenoid. Okay? And if you look at this equation, you may find that here n. Number of turns per unit length is 
a constant and mu naught which is permeability of a free space it is also a constant then for a given current if i say that a constant current i is flowing through the solenoid then it will produce a constant magnetic field this is what we understand from this expression i hope that the video is useful if you have any kind of doubt related to the topic kindly put your questions in the comment section thanks for watching